I've already named a vlog the most drama, but so far my vacation trip to Italy is proving to be a lot of drama. So it started with our original flight to Rome being canceled and them moving us from a flight that was supposed to leave at 7.30 p.m. to 5 o'clock a.m. But they took a day away from us on our trip. So what that led to was terrible weather and now there's a blizzard. So I've contacted a friend at my old airline. Hi, Rachel, you are a lifesaver. We are using her buddy passes and getting out of town. This way we can fly where we're meeting our connecting flight to go to Rome. So I'm waiting for my parents to get here. Uh, this is a family trip, so it's my, me, my mom, my dad, and one of my sisters. The other sister opted into not joining us just because she has a new baby at home and that would have just been too hectic for her. So. Right now there's eight open seats. We are numbers two, three, four, and five on standby. Let's hope for some luck. I wanna go to Italy. To Italy. To, uh, salute. 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 at 6 30 in the morning and we're trying to get out of the airport but they just gave us a car with no gas so we're waiting for a new rental After driving for three hours, me driving for three hours, we are in Tuscany. And like, the spirits totally are in that closet. I won't be walking by that at night. So now I'll take you downstairs without falling, hopefully. Here's another bedroom. And then I'll show you the bathroom this time. I mean, they're pretty much identical. I just don't want to know you guys. I asked the lady who runs this place if it was haunted, and she said, of course it's haunted. All castles are haunted. So, we'll see if anything comes into the dining room slash kitchen area. Um, you know what, I gotta show you this view. Hello, Tuscany. You are just so lovely. And then, since we're in Europe, we have even more stairs.
Hey guys, day two, we are at Ponte Vecchio. Let me take you around. Best part of grocery shopping in Italy is you can have a beer. Salute. Oh my lucky. This is the best part of grocery shopping. Wine samples. Salute. Oh, I thought this was going to be like a disaster. <laughs> so did I. All right, well, we're getting our own OJ. Well, I would have made it a disaster. You did good. You should move to Italy and be the juice queen. a beautiful Tuscan lunch in a torrential downpour. Hey, good morning. We are at Empoli train station in Tuscany. We're taking the train to Cinque Terre because we kind of gave up on driving. Um, so a little bit of a backstory. I didn't really do any vlogging yesterday because it was pouring rain and we stayed pretty much at the castle um, in Tuscany. We had lunch there and then we did venture out for dinner because the night was just a little bit nicer. So we used the bad weather just kind of as a time to recoup from our jet lag. But then the day before that, we were driving in Siena and I got the car stuck in those narrow streets and it was like four-way narrow street. So I pretty much got it stuck in every direction diagonally in that X. Bad situation, put a bad taste in my mouth about driving, like I wasn't really into it anymore. And minutes after we got the car unstuck, we ended up getting pulled over by the police and handed them a license, was told not valid for driving in Italy. So PSA, if you plan on driving in Italy, you go online, Americans, uh, AAA.com, and you can just buy a license. There's no test, they're just trying to get money. So instead of me paying $15 for the Italian driver's license, I'm spending like 409 euros in Italian tickets. So uh, we're still here for a few more days. I still plan on illegally driving because we have a rental car and we have to get around. But today, just driving to Cinque Terre does, didn't seem like the best idea. And I heard cars were not like allowed in the city proper, so we didn't know where we were gonna park. It's like a mountainous town with the cliffs. Just too much. So we're waiting on the train and then we're gonna go see those beautiful mountain views.
Cinque Terre, but I want you to hear my mom's opinion of this gorgeous Mediterranean behind me. Diana, what do you think? I think this water is so clean, it's nothing like Konya. Nothing like Konya. I don't see a single needle in the sand. Good morning, it is our last day here in Tuscany. We're about to make our way down to Rome. Yes, I'll be driving that three hour drive, but I just wanted to touch base about Tuscany real quick. It has been the perfect central location. We have the rental car, obviously, I told you about all that shenanigans, but um, from Tuscany, you can get to Pisa in an hour, Florence in an hour, Siena in an hour. The train station was really close, so we took it to Cinque Terre yesterday, so it's just been the perfect central location for us to stay. So now we're off to Rome. Again, PSA, if you are coming to Italy and plan on driving in Italy, make sure you get an international driver's license. Cheers to me having good luck driving into Rome this morning. leaving the Vatican now. Um, just want to say the lines for everything are insanely long, but it does move fast. So if you are into those touristy things and waiting online, you're not going to be in line for a very long time. Good morning, I am back from Italy. We landed around 1.20ish, and I actually slept until almost seven o'clock this morning, which doesn't sound like a lot of sleep. I know it's less than the recommended eight hours, but I slept the entire time the plane crossed the ocean also. So I'm just grateful that I got home and the, the side effects of jet lag didn't affect me and I was able to get a pretty good night's sleep, unlike when I came home from France. 
So I feel pretty confident saying I don't think I'm gonna have jet lag this time. I just wanna thank you guys so much for coming on vacation with me and my family on our little Italian adventure. I know I didn't do like that much talking to the camera. I did a, a ton of photo taking, a ton of video taking, um, and there's a few reasons for that. First, I signed up to do the vlogging and share my life. My family didn't, and this wasn't a family or this was a family vacation, so I didn't want to have them on film the entire time. Secondly, I have been so excited to go to Italy to learn about my culture, my heritage, my people, my family, traditions, all of that stuff. So I just wanted to really be present and not spend a ton of time explaining what was going on. And last but not least, my vlog really is a flight attendant channel. I try to direct people to the channel uh, and teach them about the ins and outs of flight attending. So I don't know if you guys like really like these vacation vlog things, but I did think it would be a fun experience to kind of take you around and show you just a little bit of how I spent my downtime. So we were in Rome only really for a day. We drove from Tuscany to Rome. I wanna say we got there noonish. We really hit the ground running. Uh, our first stop was the Vatican because it closed the earliest and my sister really wanted to see the Pieta. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, the Michelangelo statue that I showed you earlier. It's his most famous work of art. It's one of the only pieces that's actually signed by him. Um, and it was important for me to see that too. So that was our first stop was the Vatican. And then from there we walked to lunch because obviously that's very important too. From lunch it was about I want to say a 15 minute walk to the Trevi Fountain. So we made our wishes, we threw our coins over our shoulder. Hopefully it's true and we do go back to Italy very soon. From the Trevi Fountain, we took a trail that led us by the Pantheon so we could check that out really quick. And then we walked to the Colosseum. So I felt like that was a perfect amount of time to be in Rome. It's a big city, kind of like most other big European cities, full of a ton of history and culture. Um, the Spanish steppes, everything I mentioned earlier, there's a ton to see there, but I I really feel like one or two days is probably enough and I feel like we were lucky enough to see everything that we wanted to see before we took our flight back out of Rome. So thank you guys a ton for coming on vacation again. Thank you for watching my videos, for reaching out, for all the interactions. Please do leave me a thumbs up. Also make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you do have questions, comments, thoughts, or concerns, just post them down below. The jet lag's not getting me this time, so I'll make sure I reply. I'll talk to you guys soon, and thank you again.